Hi there everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Clara. If you're new, it would be so nice if you hit that subscribe button. I hope you all are doing great because I sure am. And this is going to be my third week in a row uploading a video. I've made a video just a little bit over a week ago. And yeah, I'm super excited to have a third video out in a row. So today I'm going to be showing you a few updates that we have going on in the small animal room and in the reptile room. I'm going to be showing you the frog that I got and I showed you the picture of the last day in my video. And I've also got two new adoptions and two new buys in the small animal room. So it's super exciting. I can't wait to show you guys. I have so many exciting things planned to share with you all. But to start off this video, I thought I'd show you all our two bearded dragons. We adopted them a good few months back and they came in that little end tank down below. This one right here. And since then they have been upgraded to a five foot tank is the males and a three foot tank is the females. And they're doing just so great. Like, hi. This is my girl Puff. She is soaking in that UVB. She is loving that light and that heat. Right? She usually closes her eyes when I rub her. So adorable. Here, Puff. Do you want to look? <laughs> so next up is the male bearded dragon's cage um, he is a wild boy as you can see he just uproots his substrate everywhere <laughs> it's flicked on the walls of the viv he is just crazy he has a DIY basket spot there made by my boyfriend this is actually his bearded dragon and the girl is mine. So this is my tank and that's his tank. So he doesn't have a name yet. If you have any name suggestions, leave them down below in the comments. Do you want a locust? So that's our bearded dragon tanks. I'm so happy to finally be able to introduce you to them guys because it's just been crazy. They were in this tank to begin with and they had eggs after separating them. She laid eggs. We tried to incubate them but unfortunately we didn't have the incubator ready for when the eggs were actually laid because we weren't expecting her to be pregnant. Well, have eggs, you know, not pregnant. <laughs> but yeah, that's them guys. Next up here we do have a couple of tanks on top of the bearded dragon's cages. So we have my crested geckos here. I showed you all these guys a good few videos ago, but they're doing great. They have since been upgraded to a tarantula tank. It is all glass with a little mesh in there. It holds humidity so much better than a critter keeper because too many air holes. <laughs> but they're doing great. They have their little rapashi food and their water dish and they get locusts once a week. So moving over from the crested geckos, this is my frog's tank. I finally get to show you guys my new frog and I love him very dearly. He is the most adorable thing ever. As you can see, he's up there. Adorable. So as I said, this is a white tree frog and the morph is actually a snowflake tree. A snowflake, yeah. Because as you can see, normal tree frogs are usually just fully green. But he actually has white speckles on him which makes him so different and unique and i just think he is so pretty i just cannot wait to get his friend home too but as i said in another week or two i'm going to be collecting his friend and hopefully actually adding more frogs like the more the merrier right Oh yeah, that's my froggy's tank. And we actually have two spare tanks here. Don't know what's going in that one and sort of know what's going in that one. But this, the animal that I'm getting, I'm getting an Amazon tree boa on Thursday. And it's actually only a baby so that enclosure is too big and it will be the enclosure it will go in eventually. I wanted to use an exoterra for a proper display but I heard that wood holes 
heat a lot better and in Ireland like you know it's cold it's not as hot as it would be in America so yeah I'm gonna go for a wooden cage for my Amazon tree boa so here we have some more new additions to the family um, so it is more hamsters guys I did get two more hamsters they are robos and they are just so amazing it's a boy and a girl and I'm gonna breed them and I'm super excited about that I'm gonna show you guys all the updates when they have babies as you can see they're very small hamsters and very fast they're actually not really a handleable species only if it's really necessary to look for health issues in their bodies or to sex them so yeah they're more of a look and don't touch species which I find really cool and I love the way they can actually be social and live together pretty amazing. There they are now hiding. I'm really sorry about this suckish light guys. So they do have a lot of stuff going on. They have two hides over here, another two hides here. They have a little tube they can go through. They have a sand bath to keep their fur clean, their food bowl and their water bottle which is done by Velcro and it's super handy just to change it pull it off put it back on and that's it <laughs> super easy and I did say I bought some new animals so these were the two new animals that I bought for my small animal room because I did I don't know if I actually told YouTube but I told Facebook that my Syrian hamster old Grammy Hammy passed away due to believe I have I believe old age and she had cataracts and I believe she had a stroke because the bump that was on the back of her neck I always felt was abnormal the shape of her body was abnormal but I'm just happy to know that I gave her a good life before she died and she's passed a few months ago now and I went out and I bought hamsters I've had these over a month now doing amazing and they were only babies when I bought them so it's gonna be a while before they breed but super exciting journeys to show you guys so we have little cookies cage my little dwarf hamster you've seen her in my last animal room tour video and yeah you should check that out if you want to see her so this is the gerbils that I've adopted this is the cage that they did come in I do plan on upgrading them to like a massive cage with lots of bedding to burrow in because this is just not enough bedding for a gerbil but I can't actually fit much more in without them trying to climb up here and bite the plastic so yeah the cage came damaged but thankfully they just can't get out of it for now they did have no water bottle and no food bowl their bedding was horrible and it had moldy fruit and veg in it which I'm assuming they were given in space in change of a water bottle like they were just giving them fruit hoping they'd be okay and their bedding was making me sneeze really badly so I decided to change that straight away as soon as I got them here and yeah there's two little girls two female gerbils and I love them they're so friendly and so sweet and they would not bite you for the world but yeah I'll be giving you more updates on these especially when I do their DIY cage that I'm planning on doing super excited to do that and super excited to give them a better start to life I really don't like this cage because there is literally nowhere else to put the water bottle except on top like that and they really have to stretch up to get it but they have been drinking as you can see it's almost like half empty so they are doing good so we're back here in the reptile room I do have my blue rack finally put up over in my new house and currently it's just being used for storage but as you can see I have unfinished tanks set up here I'm planning on having a whole shelf dedicated to betas or betas specifically so yeah that's super exciting I can't wait for that yeah so stay tuned and you shall see my better shelf I hope you guys enjoyed this video even though it might have been a little bit random but if you enjoyed it please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below because I love hearing from you guys it's so nice to chat to you all and get feedback on my latest videos so for now I shall love you and leave me and see you in my next video bye